What's going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. My name is Calum and today I'm going to be going over how to take information from an Excel document and merge it into a Word document. This function is called Mail Merge and can save you tons of time. I'm doing this video for Chris B. Stay tuned. So here we have a Word document. I had ChatGPT just generate for me a sample Word document, and then I put my information up here at the top. Um, and then here is the information that we're going to actually be having changed throughout each of the documents. So this is really handy if you're doing envelopes, or you're doing labels, or you're doing uh, letters, where you're going to be sending the same type of document out to multiple people. Um, we're going to jump over here to an Excel document, which I've pre-populated with just some examples. Uh, these are the people that I'm going to want to be sending this letter to. Uh, once you get all of your source information into Excel, you want to make sure and save that Excel document. And we're going to go back to our Word document. And up here at the top, you're going to click on the tab that says Mailings. Then you're going to click on Select Recipients and Use an Existing List. Now here you can select a, an access database or an Excel document or any of a number of sources really, including SQL servers and, and what have you. Uh, but this is just a really simple example um, of how to do this. I'm going to jump over to where my Excel document is located. And here I'm going to select Sample Database, which is what I named my Excel document. I'm going to double click on that. It'll prompt me to ask me what sheet I want to use for this mail merge. Only a one sheet document. I'm going to click OK. And then here, you can see Insert Merge Field. When I click on this, you'll notice that the title uh, in each column of that Excel document uh, pops up here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace recipient name with first name, face, last name. I'm going to select address. I'm going to replace it with address. And down here, I'm going to insert city, comma, space, insert date, space, Insert zip. And then dear recipient name. I'm going to get rid of recipient name. I'm going to replace it with first, base, and then insert last. Okay, so now all the fields that uh, I intend to have changed throughout this document uh, are in place. If you click here on preview results, you can see that it has input the information that, uh, that uh, is coming from my Excel document. If I click the little arrow here for next, you can see the information changes between all of the individuals, sample individuals that I have in the Excel document. If I come up here and click Finish and Merge, and then Edit Individual Documents, it's going to ask me which records do I want to merge. I'm going to select all. And then we'll open a new document called Letters 1. Now, notice uh, right here, this actually you can't quite see that. Uh, there's three pages now in my document. Every page has a different individual from my source database. I hope you found this helpful. This is a way to, to save a lot of time if you're doing a lot of mailings or a lot of labels or anything like that. I do want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on future content. If you have any ideas or requests for content on other technologies or other systems that you'd like me to cover, please drop a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial just for you. Thank you and God bless.